Hello and welcome to today's video. So once again, join my friend Andy. Hello. And we're off to the Matford Toy Fair. Here we are, 17th of February, 2024. And uh, well, the last one, it doesn't seem that long ago we were at Shepton. No, no. Um, it's flown by really. Um, how long ago was that? Was it three weeks maybe? About three, four weeks, yeah. Yeah, it just yeah. seems to have flown by. And um, well, we're back again at, uh, at Exeter Matford. And, yeah. um, plenty to see. Plenty to see. Um, apparently it was another sellout. Um, all the stalls are gone, and um, I'm also feeling a lot better this time. Right yeah, now. you're not a death door. <laughs> <No. laughs> you weren't two or three weeks ago, wherever it was. But yeah. my <laughs> commitment to you guys was that we had to get that video out, so I didn't want to not get it out. But boy, oh boy, I was a little the worse for work. Uh, but we're all good now. And uh, once again, we've got some interesting stuff. We'll show you our haul at the end, and um, our uh, also what our friend George picked up as well. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, we did all right. We did all right. So uh, once again, all the interesting stalls we, we've filmed. And, uh, well, we'll see some good stuff as we go along. Yeah. The usual mixture as always, wasn't it? Absolutely, but, uh, yeah. The, the, the trains, the die casts, yeah. um, a few people just, uh, you know, clearing out bits and pieces. Yeah, selling off odds and sods from the loft. Yeah, stalls of Hot Wheels and what have yeah. you. Our usual stuff. Bumped into a few friends while we're up there as well, which is always good. Yeah. People to come up and say hello, say hello to anyone we saw. But we got a nice and sharp, didn't we? We were in about nine o'clock. Yeah. So most dealers had set up. There was a few still setting up, but it meant that we could work around and um, and to do all the filming there's fairly a promptly. There's a rare item. <laughs> yeah, now that is rare. So that's the Argentinian. Man from Uncle Car. Yeah. Uh, boxed. It was three hundred and fifty. Yeah, it was just like a scaled up version roughly of the uh, of, the, of the of the diecast. Yeah, that's it. And that had sold. That yeah, went. I, I missed that completely. Three fifty that went for yeah, one of the first by, things I saw. That'd have yeah. been gone by the time I got around to that store. Yeah, so it, someone's someone's grabbed that little rarity. Yeah. First time I've ever seen that. I've not yeah. even seen it in a book or anything. No, so me too. Pretty scarce we think that. Um three fifty yeah, he said it was fairly close to what he paid for it years ago, like All decades right. ago, he said. So, um, yeah, that's probably, you know, could be underpriced even for all we know. Who knows? Uh, who knows? Yeah. Definitely. Uh, see the uh, the box sets there? They're corgi ones that were done for Marks and Spencer. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. It just gone out of shot now at the top there. But they're right. very rare. I think it had something like £250 wow. on one of them, you know. Uh, they don't say corgi on them anywhere, but they are corgi. I see. No, yeah. They're scarce. There was a fair, um, there was a few stalls with some matchbox on, so I was obviously interested in that. Mm. There was quite a bit of loose figures and stuff this time round, I thought. And um, although I didn't capture them on film this time, we did uh, have a chat with Dave Toyploy, who, yeah. was, who turned up and um, was looking for a few bits. Travelling a little bit further afield this time to Shepton. Yeah. The, were the prices relatively competitive with Matchbox? Um, this chap was a bit high. In, in fact, it was our friend Ogwell who had the best deals mm. um, this time round, I right. thought. And um, I did get a few of him, which we'll have a look at in the end. Okay. Um, there weren't quite as many, especially as Matchbox dealers, there was a few at the Shepton one. There was at least two or three more than there was at this one. Right. Um, but yeah, no, they were all right. Um, but... You know, always looking for a bargain, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, as you can see, lots and lots of classic die casts. Yeah. Yeah. And lots and of Britons, Britons too. Britons. Yeah, yeah, a lot of Britons. Britons. Yeah, Britons. Yeah, quite a bit for There's really good little boxes of hay bales and yeah. stuff. I can see <laughs> the attraction, definitely. Yeah, yeah, so can I. Um, for sure. Yeah. That's some more modern. Yeah, I try not to get too bogged down in these videos with all the modern stuff that's on display. So I'm sure people are watching these more for the vintage stuff than anything else. Yeah. It gives so you, I try and put a bit of a mixture. Gives you an idea of what was there. Yeah, even if I don't film it all, there's always plenty of that sort of stuff there, there to is. be had. Yeah. Plenty of rummage boxes too. And I always say, you know, if you're coming along with real youngsters, um, There'll be bargains for them as well, you oh, know, yeah. little die cast at a pound. Lots of stores had pound boxes, didn't they? They did. And you could have come away with an armful for a tenner, and I always think that's a good sign yeah. of a show, really. It's not all hundreds of pounds no. toys, because it's just not like that. As usual, a lot of agricultural stuff in this agricultural yeah. venue. <laughs> that's right, yeah, it tends to attract it, doesn't it? Yeah. 
I know the Steelers been been going to the shows a long time. Yeah, so filming and stuff quite a bit, so I don't linger too long on it. Plus, because it's in the cases, it's all reflective, mm. which is uh, right under the can't really have a proper look. Right under the uh, windows there. It is, yeah. Plus, it was a bit of a dark, overcast day, wasn't it? it poured yeah. On the way up, we yeah. got caught in a bit of rain. A drich day. Yeah, that's all right. still had some yeah, nice things. Yeah. Batman the, movie. The Batman heads. Yeah. Batman movie candy d- heads there. I vaguely remember those. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I had some interesting things. Don't know what he had on the Mars Attacks gun there, the movie uh-huh. gun. Unusual. Yeah. I think this is the one who had a lot of. Uh, Space precinct items. Was this the same store, was it? I think yeah. so, yeah. Were these bootleg turtles? Were Boot, they? I think they were bootlegs. They were bootlegs, they looked yeah. bootlegs. Yeah, else they'd be a bit more than £10 yeah. each, I would imagine. And a bendy Joker. Yeah. Sort of like mid to late. Yeah, 90s, early 90s, 90s stuff, stuff yeah. yeah. And there's 90s Thunderbirds and Stingray. Yeah. 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 Nice period store. Mm, it was actually. It's all 30 plus years old. Yeah. But there's and loads a, of space precinct. Yeah, there? I think that was a complete run of the carded figures. Yeah, and, I think. And you've got the bike there 12, as well. Yeah. And the 12 inch. And they've been stored well. Yeah, They're and the nice 12 inch Brogan figure, which I think is the only one I've got. There he is. But yeah, the carded figures, I think that must be about all of them. Yeah, not a, a bad little store there. I don't know what he had on them. I no. Don't know, but, uh, uh-huh. They're in very nice condition. Yeah, well stored. See, quite an interesting store. Never seen that dealer before. No, I haven't. So it's, uh, Clearing a bit of his collection out. Yeah. I had some quite Batman stuff, Batman animated as well in this store. Mm. I can remember you having a load of that back in the day. I did, yeah. yeah I, I was all well, the card of figures. I still love the, the, the actual show. It's, mm. it's brilliant. I can remember you having them. It's so, so good. I've got, <laughs> yeah, I kept some of, some of it, I've kept. But. Yeah, I had some loose ones. The, uh, the actual figures don't display very well. Ah, this, and, stuff, this is Steve Haynes from Bath. That's it. And that's an item that our friend George bought. Yes, indeed, the Kojak Harbour. None of us had even rack, ever seen it Rack before. toy, yeah. yeah. I might have seen it in a book, I think. But, right. Uh, very, very unusual. Yeah, he yeah. picked that up. Thought he might. <laughs> yeah, very, very nice. Yeah. But, but the whole store was great. As it? usual store, yeah. As usual. Good store, very good store. Yeah, that item there is a Knight Rider Spanish item. Yeah, loads of... Metal, to- they are metal, though. They, are metal. they look plastic unless yeah. you, until you hold it and you see how heavy it is. Yeah, some kind of store display. Very and unusual. they're all different cars, too. Yeah. Yeah, I think it had about 250 on it. Right. But yeah, uh, yeah some rare things. Nice Six million dollar man American seer show there. Yeah. More rack toys. Barnet Woman's slide projector set. Yeah. Which our, friend, which our friend George bought. He, bought that as well, he did yeah. buy that, yeah. <laughs> um, he goes, yeah, all sorts on here. Those Spanish, the Spanish, like, lucky bags, mm. knock-off Starsky and Hutch ones. Yeah. Don't know what's in them, but they are Spanish. Um, of the time. Yeah. But, yeah, more Migos. Yeah, good stuff. Good, good store, yeah. that. And here's our friend John. Yeah. With his buddy from Plymouth. He bought my bubble bass. Oh, yes. A couple of months back. <laughs> there he is. Thank you, John. <laughs> Good to see him. Yeah, it's more moderns. Mostly. Yeah. Yeah, plenty of this stuff around. Good old selection. I mean, there was, you know, it's a bit of an, you know, we say it's something for everybody, but there sort of was, wasn't there? I mean, yes, it really was. As, as usual. You know, if you're into comics, you would have found some stuff there. Yeah, there's a few around. here and there. Yeah. Knocking around, yeah. yeah. Radio Fun annuals there. Yeah. yeah. Don't often see them at the fairs, do Not we? too much. No, but there, were, there were quite a few annuals there today. Mm, there was, more actually, than, yeah. More than usual. Nothing ultra rare, I don't think, but. You know, there was certainly one, one's Green Hornet, mm. No Hiding Place, British TV show, things like that. It's yeah. a loose die, Yeah, good spread again. Yeah, 
Yeah, another one with a mixture of old and new. Yeah. Yeah, there was a bit of Hot Wheels, wasn't there? Mm, there was. Yesterday, you yeah. don't often see them at the shows, not the early ones anyway. No, you see the later ones quite a bit. That's right. I thought there was lots of loose figures and things this time round, right? Boxes of loose figures. Again, okay. I think Dave from Toy Ploy would have uh, found a few bits. Another good rummage, yeah. 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 So. yeah, see, there we are. British comics, then, a few, yeah, well, British a few, stuff, a few bits like that around. This Action Man, 1990s Action Man. Yeah. Yeah. Again, all sorts. There we are. Some a few. Zanus, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the bottom of the sea. I was having a look at that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this, is, this is Nick Mulford. Yeah. yeah. He was still setting up, um, as he often is. He takes it to the door, doesn't he? He, he does. Yeah. Yeah. He takes his ages to set up. Yeah, but it's a lovely, <laughs> he was joking item. about it today, yeah. actually. Was he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting interrupted by damn customers as, as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we always like his stuff. It's always good quality. Yeah, nicely well. set out. Yeah, nicely displayed. Yeah. Oh yes. He'd, later on, he had those shelves filled with the uh, loose Timpo figures and the like. Right. These Britons. Yeah. Take a while to yeah. set them out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I fancied maybe getting some of those uh, mm. Formula One cars, the Corgi ones. Yeah. I had a couple as a kid, mm. and I do have those two. Boxed, right. but they're not super expensive. No, it's one of those things. Represent I a bit think of value. maybe one day get the rest of them because it's only about a dozen. Mm. Even the scarcest ones are not mega money. Right, uh, they're nice cars. Yeah, there's a lot of, again another real mixture. This isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Such is the nature of, of the beast, really. You know, yeah, it does yeah. attract some of the real old school dealers, you know, yeah. just traditional die casts. Um, and then you've got the sort of the more yeah, yeah. action figure, TV film related stores that we will like, We'll know. see some of that in a minute, won't we? Yeah. This very stall. In fact, <laughs> yeah. Is, so it took a bit of time to have a good look at this. Mm. Um, because there's an awful lot here. This is Alan Hall. Look at those yeah. matchbox They're really, really play nice. sets. Yeah. God. And as I said to you, Andy, I saw when we left, someone was walking out with two of those. Really? Two of those there. Yeah. So um, I've only ever seen them in a the catalogue. I've never seen them no, in the flesh. I've hardly seen them. Yeah. They're very, very nice yeah. indeed. That beachhead assault, that's the one I Yeah. The yeah, condition yeah. look. Yeah, gorgeous. As I say, Alan Hall. And Huge. His condition is always excellent. Yeah. See, you pan up all the stuff he's got on the back shelf. Wow. Mm. Well, I tried to take a photo. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh, look yeah. at that. Look Some at that Mark's stuff. Lone Ranger stuff. Oh, and the rest. Pocket Superhero Superman there. That was incredible condition. Amigo one. Mm -hmm. and the orange card there. Yeah, fabulous stuff. He's been dealing a long time, Alan, and it, yeah. it shows. Yeah. He obviously knows where to get the, the items. There we are, he's a real action man specialist. Mm -hmm. Lots of that stuff there. Yeah. That's his thing. Yeah, he did used to have a bricks and mortar stall in Boscombe, near mm, Bournemouth. Yeah, I think I mentioned it on a previous video, but I think that's shut now. He, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't have a bricks and mortar place anymore. I don't think. Yeah, nice space, nineteen ninety nine jigsaw there. Yeah. Yeah, one array. 
Mm. Really, really, really nice stool, yeah. Great. And well presented. Full of quality and nicely presented, yeah. yeah. That's what you want. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, it was metal. Metal? metal. Calendar. Yeah. That's strange. Very unusual. Yeah. Civil Walker, yeah. same as the last one. Yes, <laughs> same as <shooter. laughs> same dealer. Yeah. Yeah. There's lots of interesting odds and odds, odds, odds on this store. Yeah. you just got to look a little bit hard, I mean, you just got to go through yeah. some of the boxes. You just have the little gem here and there sometimes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, a lot of gum card wrappers. Um mm. Yeah, seventies and eighties. A lot of Star Wars ones. Yeah, I saw those. I mean yeah, I don't yeah. know. I am not completely au fait with what the th things are making, but mm, I think about yeah, about twenty each on those. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know if that's a little steep. Maybe. Yeah. He, he does do a deal. Hmm. Angel Interceptor from the 90s. Mm. It's Captain Scarlet one. Oh, here's the other Lego store, which had a fair yeah. bit. Cindy dolls. A bit of Cindy stuff there. There was actually, yeah. yeah. Some sort yeah. of two Cindy boxed items. Britain's answer to Barbie. Yeah. gaming again yeah any good in fact John's friend I think bought an N64 bought, bought the console oh, really? off, this, off this store yeah. yeah probably picked up a couple of games as well he wasn't too dear uh -huh. I thought they were the reasonable pricing right. to be honest but I also heard that the retro game market's taken a bit of a dive really it got really hyped up um, and it's taken a bit of a dip okay lately, so. from what I hear yeah yeah, some interesting things. Yeah. This guy, some more, more too modern, more modern Star Wars figures. Well, our friend Dave got a, mm -hmm. a Star Wars figure, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He Grand did, Admiral Thrawn, I think it yeah, was. Yes, Thrawn. Yeah. yeah. Had that dogfight double. <laughs> had that particular one as a child. It's lovely. It's again, <laughs> yeah. I, and they're not ridiculous money. No. Are they? These old kits, <laughs> they're lovely, really. But you know, you start collecting them, they eat up their space like something else. Oh though. yeah. They're lovely to look at. Yeah. Lots of loose. Yeah, lots and lots. It was a very nice Jurassic Park place, yeah, wasn't there? I think it might Is be it this, this store, store, actually. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah the whole compound. Like this. Um, yeah. Which you don't see very often. Oh, yeah, it's coming it up. It is this stool, yeah. yeah. So Jurassic Park's hot. Yeah, it's a hot and there property. it is. And there it is, yeah. yeah. That was the original playset for the first film. Mm -hmm. That was the biggie. That was the biggie. The yeah. compound. Nice. This Ogwell. is Ogwell, yeah. So we had a chat with him. Yeah. And uh, we do, we have indeed promised to go up to visit him <laughs> on a Wednesday. We keep promising this. And so we it's will. market day, <laughs> so we can tie it in with market. And, yeah. Um, we're going to do all the, the sort of... Uh, Sort of charity shops and what have you on yeah, the way as well. So like a, April, May time. Yeah, like a collector's visit to Newton Abbot, I think yeah. it's going to be. And we'll tie him with going to the, sh the retail store as well. Yeah. Which will be good because he said he's not going to do any more shows now until September. That's right. So um, he's got other fish to fry. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've never been to a shop, so no. that'll be good. No. Lots of matchbox as usual. He did indeed, yeah. yeah. He had the best selection there. Did he? Yeah. By a mile. Mm -hmm. Good. Cindy again. 
yeah. yeah. As you can see, those yeah, Formula One cars, <laughs> they are around. Yeah, they are indeed, they are. yeah. Plenty of model kits as well. It was there? actually, yeah. yeah. This was just wholesale. Yeah, wholesale give, cool. Give yeah. Box, look, whole cases for like 10 yeah. quid and 17 quid and stuff. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, some just more give modern it away. stuff. And there was some railway stuff as there, I think. Glimpse a bit, but you can see lots of Hot Wheels. Yeah. Tables of it. You don't see the yellow submarine, you were saying? Well, not since the one that I bought. Mm. I don't know if that's become a scarcity. I don't know. Because I mean, you'd think it would have enduring um, appeal. Yeah. The, you know, Beatles yeah. related. Yeah. This is my older things. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. We've seen this dealer before, and he yeah. does have some lovely stuff. He does, yeah. He? Yeah, our friend George uh, bought an item, the sheet music that we just saw there. Mm. Yeah, I had to dig through that box and found a TV-related one. Which um, was uh, Davy Crockett. Ah, yes. The Ballad of Davy Crockett from the 1950s Disney show with the Fess Parker on the cover. I was pleased to find that. It was a very good price as well. Brilliant. Yeah, and he bought some uh, 2000 ADs as well. A couple of early ones. There we are. Oh, yeah, there we are. Yeah. Very early ones. Yeah, so the I submarine, I've just quickly looked it up. It doesn't appear to be mega money, you know, about a fiver. Okay. Still, so it's not disappeared or anything. Not, just we haven't seen we're just one not the show, it. Yeah. This is okay. Paul's still from Paul, yeah. Paul. Just uh, set some nice bits Yeah, up. nice items as usual. That's good quality. Yeah. And we saw this guy at Shepton, he brought some slightly different stuff, but very much vintage, you know, the mm. uh, really early stuff. Mm. He had the Beatrix Potter stuff last time, I think. He did, yeah. yeah. And um, He's still got Hank there. Yeah, the Hank. Yeah. And, uh, just the real early period pieces, aren't they? Yeah. Know? Yeah, Hanks, Seems to be his era. Hanks from the early 50s. Yeah. Puppet character on British TV. Used to be in a show called Whirly Gig. Before my time. Indeed. Yeah, here's the trains. <laughs> like I say, more trains. They were little slides, weren't they? Did you see those? Yes, little I did notice slides. those. They were yeah. quite interesting, actually. I should have looked those a bit closer. Yeah. Some of them said TV comics. Yeah. Features, I'm, but yeah. I'm familiar with them. I thought George would have known. Britain's here. Yeah. And here we go. Got some more modern stuff, yeah. more mixtures. I do tend to, you know, because it's sort of stuff that we've seen time and time again, I tend to walk past it. Yeah. Um, and, and look for the next store with really interesting old stuff. Mm. Um, only because it's just, just not really our thing, is it? Um, the newer stuff isn't done. No, no, it doesn't. No. It's nice to see what's coming out. Yeah. This chap was very friendly. Yes, he is. Yeah. Nice guy. He says he's going to be at the Newton Abbott race course and he looks like he's going to come to the Plymouth retro show. Um, All right. Uh, for the first time. He says he might, might give it a try. Okay. Somewhere oh, yes. That's coming a up bit soon. different. Yeah. But he did say he's going to be at Newton Abbott. Okay. But I said, yeah, you've got to watch the video. He said, I'm going to be on the telly. I said, <laughs> you'll be on YouTube. So. Kind of. <laughs> This is Lawrence's store now. Yeah. Lawrence is always there when you come in. Yes, he's but just. When we got in this time, I think he was still setting up. Yes, so he I was. thought I did him on the way yeah, out yeah. this time. Yeah, he's always just in on the left, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Had a good, good mix of stuff, some yeah. different stuff it was, again. Was it well displayed? Some yeah. stuff sort of the last 20, 30 years. Yes, yeah, it's it? long. And it's always usually mid box. Long 90s, noughties. Yeah. yeah. And this is Julian. This is it. Oh, our last story is always by the front door as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, more comics than usual. Pack, yeah, packed store. It's quite interesting, that Fighter Command game. Absolutely. Yeah. There you go. And now we'll have a look at our stuff. Yeah. So these are the two kits that 
George Ball. Yes, yeah. yes, they're um, they're tie-ins, not official tie-ins, I don't mm. think, with the um, those magnific- magnificent magnificent men in their flying machines movie yeah. from the sixties. Um, two of the six, is that right? I think so. Yes, yeah. yeah, they're quite scarce, and he got them for a good price, so he was very pleased with those. Ah, oh, brilliant. Right, Andy, so as is traditional, oh, and yes. we always leave it to the end. Oh, we do. <laughs> here are our pickups. So I didn't do too bad today. Yeah. I got four Matchbox. Um, I didn't see anything else that I wanted today. Right. So I'm quite pleased to get this from the Renault. And there's a couple of variations of this one, at least a couple. Um, and our friend Ogwell, he did have both of them, but I got the, got the yellow one there, which is a Luca. Luca, Luca. So I'm quite pleased with that one. Then we got uh, the Piston Popper. Yeah. Now this is in the second issue box. Uh, I think this one came out as a super fast back right. in the day, but this is like the later issue of it. So I'm guessing it was probably quite a popular one back then and they kept it in the range for a while. Yes, the mathematics were. Yeah, um, this one's all right. I mean, I'd, they're not, you know, the top priority, but you know, the price for these was pretty good. So right. the, the Ford tractor and that the harrow is what they call it. I guess that's the mm-hmm. a bit of farming equipment. That's right. And then the 57 T-Bird, which is a bit sort of, sort of now Greece, really, isn't it? Mm. Um, and also quite a nice one. All the American ones seem to be quite popular, and uh, that's going to display it very, very well indeed. So, yes. So I, that's all I did. So I'll pop them over to there. So I didn't go crazy today, but I didn't do too bad. I'm pleased with what I bought, shall we say, you right. know? Now, you've got a, cut, you, well, you've got a few bits, haven't you? Four yeah. items, yeah. Okay. Um, just one thing I got was just ah. the Avengers. The Avengers TV show, the, logo, like the logo, logo, yeah. Logo, just a, yeah oh, brilliant! Laser cut logo. Um, you've got one or two on your shelves here, Palatoy and yeah, Atari. Yeah, they're, they're quite nice, aren't they? They are. Um, I mean, the, things like that sell on eBay for about twenty pounds. That cost me four pounds. Oh, that's good. So yeah, thought, yeah. I'm sure I've got something I can stick on a shelf they're with that in the front. Quite tricky to produce, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So uh, the Avengers, yeah. yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Continuing from uh-huh. the last. <laughs> yes, chapter, indeed. Here's another Mego Planet of the Apes. Now, which you. one is this then? This is General Urko. Yeah. Remember in the last video, I got General Ursus, who I yeah. misremembered and called General Aldo. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep up with this. Um, they didn't do an Aldo. He, Ursus just resembles Aldo. From I see. From Planet of the Apes. But this is General Urko. Yeah. Uh, very nice, tidy condition. Yeah. Doesn't have absolutely. his bandolier and knife and everything, but that's a future project to source those. Yeah. But yeah, I picked him up. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So this yeah, is I've, very funky. Item number three, still Planet of the Apes, the Colourforms, Colourforms. adventure set. Yeah. I see um, it's dated 67. It would have been 70s. Right. Yeah. So time with a TV show? Yeah, TV show. Right. All the early, movies. all the late end movies, I suppose. Yeah. So uh, this okay. is American. Yeah. don't think any of the Colourforms sets came out in the UK. I don't remember. Oh, blowing up at them. Um, this does have all the pieces. You can see some... One or two little missing ones from the cards there. They are present. They're in the little bag. Wow. But yeah, you just make just make scenes with them, basically. Yeah. They did them for all sorts of shows. Yeah. I think the only other one I've... I don't... I might have a black hole colour form, possibly. Yeah. But they did a Star Trek one, didn't yeah, they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All sorts, yeah. yeah. So some of the, the other just, bits, yeah. yeah. Bits. So is this the original Yeah, that's booklet. the original booklet, yeah. Shows you what you can do. Oh, brilliant. And you would take the figures out then and pop them into the uh, the, you just, the diorama? Yeah, they just stick them on there. Yeah, and you can make different scenes and play around with them. Yeah. Move the limb, you know, position the limbs how you want to. Have one behind the other and make kind of show a bit of depth to the scene. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, that. It's a very nice item. Now, how often do you see those in the UK? Not very, often. very rarely. Yeah. yeah. And it was very reasonably priced. Yeah. Are you going to tell us? Or? 30. 30. Well, that is good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Where a man once ruled supreme. I know. Now rule the apes. I know. And what's that then? And this. Right. Batman Forever Bubblegum. Yeah. Now, this is top, so. Yeah. So this is 1995, the time of the movie. And it's a complete counter display box of... That. Take that off. Okay. Heads. Heads, blimey. Yeah. So you've got three different heads. Yeah, you've bubblegum inside, so you've got Batman, the Riddler and Two-Face. Wow. And that's a complete counter display box. Lovely, look at that. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Should we take one out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Riddle me this, Andy. Yeah, Jim Carrey. Wow. Jim Carrey Riddler. It's in remarkable condition, isn't yeah, it? It's it been is. very well looked after. It is this one, yeah. Was that that still we saw in the video? The uh, uh, sort of had a lot of the nineties and two thousand yes. stuff. Yeah. It's it was that one. Yeah. Right yeah. But yeah, I just couldn't leave this behind. No. Absolutely. That's yeah. a very, really very nice. Buying nice these item. at the time. Yeah. Superb. Yeah. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching the latest Toy Fair video. Matford was, uh, it did not disappoint. We no, all, everyone came away with something. I hope the dealers had a good day. We left as it was uh, really filling out, wasn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, excellent. And we look forward to the next one, which is, we think it's Shepton, is it next? Uh, it, next Matford. Next, next, next one is Matford again. Is right. April. Okay, so if you're there, make sure we say hello. Yeah. But thanks for watching today. If you've not already, do please hit that subscribe button for regular vintage toy content. And we shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye. Bye.